Hey everyone, Jason Morgan, Fleet Equipment. I have one trucking question. If I'm a fleet, what do I have to know about my application if I want to start running electric trucks? Hey Jason, it's great talking with you. So the one thing or the, the few things that you need to know if you're a fleet looking into electrification, the two you know most important things or three most important things, you know, does does my truck return home every night? Right, that's really important because with charging infrastructure, a lot of times customers have to build their own charging infrastructure. It's not like a diesel station where you can just go fill up. So that's very important to know. Uh, another thing, or you could potentially build a charger at a customer's um, where you're dropping off or something like that. So you could do, do that as well. The other things you need to know is what kind of weights do I actually run? Uh, I think a lot of customers are conscious of this. Am I butting up against you know, the gross combined weight rating, is that going to be a challenge for me? Uh, and then, of course, you know, the last question, this may seem very obvious, is, you know, what can I, what can I do with range? Um, and this is very important because it's not just the absolute number that all the manufacturers give you. You also have to look at, okay, there's a range impact if it's really cold in the winter. So you have to think about that. But on the positive side, too, there's uh, also opportunity charging. So like our 579EB, for example, will it will give 120 miles of uh, range with a one hour opportunity charge. So, you know, you just have to look at your uh, application, uh, look at your routes and everything like that and make sure that you can you can handle it. And the one thing I always tell customers, too, is that uh, if you're evaluating this and you really want to do it, the best customers really adapt to the technology. And so they they adapt their routes, they adapt their application so that they can live with an electric vehicle. Patrick, good to see you. Thanks for the answer.